Hi everyone, Jackie with Paper Moments and I'm here to share with you my folios. Uh, this is, I made three folios out of Echo Park uh, Spring Fling to go along with my birdhouse that I created out of chipboard. Um, this is the first folio, so folio number one. Uh, this is a smaller version of my um, folio that I did with uh, Authentic Romance. So it's basically the same folio, just a smaller version. Uh, these are six by uh, five and three, five and a half is what it is. So um, the back panel is six by six and then the two front flaps are five and a half by six. So in the uh, package that I received from Country Craft Creations, uh, all the material that you see on these uh, my folios are from Country Craft Creations, and you can find them uh, at countrycraftcreations.com. And I had the Echo Park Spring Fling paper. Uh, this is just some of the cut parts that I have left. And then on the back was this one. Uh, so this is the uh, journaling cards with the back part, which I just love the colors in this collection. And then also I received... Um, uh, spectrum, uh, authentic spectrum um, paper, which is polka dots and then stripes on the other side. That is the orange. I also received pink and turquoise and um, yellow, so which I you will see on the birdhouse. I use the blues, uh, the turquoise ones, and then I also use the uh, yellow and orange for the inside of the house. I also used some uh, of the Spring Fling Ephemera uh, die cut card pieces that was uh, from Country Craft Creations. And then I accented my uh, folios with the little flowers from Prima. And then on my birdhouse, I did use the uh, wood die cut here and painted it for uh, the top of my birdhouse, uh, which you will see in the pictures. I'm not going to be able to video my birdhouse because it's just so large that it's not going to work. So uh, I do take a lot of pictures of it. So hopefully you can see through the uh, pictures on my blog exactly how the birdhouse came out. I do have a video on how to make it, but to make to video the complete thing is kind of awkward. But um, here is the front of it, and like I said, it's it's quite big. So. That is the front, and that's where I did the wood piece on there, and then I used all the stickers to decorate the front of it. So, on the folio, I used this gorgeous ribbon that came uh, with the uh, paper that uh, Country Cracker sent me, and uh, that's my closure. I used an ephemera piece here along with uh, layering it onto some of the pattern papers, and then again, the Prima flowers. It's a one-inch spine. And then, like I said, the back is a six by six piece and then another one inch spine. And it's like I said, my closure is with this gorgeous ribbon that just matches perfectly. So you open this folio up and it's going to let me get this out of the way so you can actually see what it's done. So on the first flap, you've got a pull out, uh, a flip flap here. And I just took some of the ephemeras and the stickers and the spectrum paper and just made like a little actually that one I believe is I did leave that one glued that one down so this fits right in there just um, for photo mats there and it's just glued on the two edges to hold it in and then you flip it over and I used another one of the ephemeras for a um, stopper at the bottom and again some uh, uh, spectrum paper cut and then using the scallop punch and then one of the cut aparts. This is a good size pocket that's going to hold quite a few photos um, and I've just used two of the cut aparts to stick in there, the two of the four by fours. And then on this side it just has a little tuck pocket on the side and I just put in a cut apart there. This opens up and then in the middle you've got your waterfall which are a four by six and then I just used uh, just strips of the paper to accent the bottom parts of them. So that's going to give you plenty of room for a nice 4x6 photo album or photo. And then I've got a little tux pocket back here, which I just added another cut apart in here. And again, 
nice and roomy to hold lots of photos in there. And this is magnetized so it does stay closed. Over here we have another uh, flap and again I used a couple of the uh, ephemera pieces to hold my uh, photo mats here. One is the photo mat using spectrum paper and then the other one is just a cut apart. This flips open and again a little uh, stopper at the bottom with uh, an ephemera and then two more uh, cut aparts which I did not uh, mat these because I just love the paper on the back and they would be a perfect border for a, a, a photo. Then I've got two little pockets here so this one I have a photo uh, cut apart in and this one I have a cut apart as well in. This flips open and then it gives you a nice area here and here landscape for photos. This would hold a probably a four by four by six cut down if you wanted to go the horizontal and then as well as here you could put two or three of the uh, little uh, pocket size uh, wallet size photos here. So. That is folio number one, and then I will be showing you folio number two and three because I did make three of these little folios for my bird cage, or my, yeah, my birdhouse, not cage. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, don't, don't forget to send me a PM or post it on the group page and I will definitely answer for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.